hello friends now we will discuss the cas code configuration of current sink to increase output resistance in the previous class we came to know how to increase the output resistance now here we will incorporate the cascode configuration to increase the output resistance of current sink so here this is the previous case where we have used a resistor across the source terminal to increase the output resistance now here in the cascode configuration of current sink we use a common gate mos instead of a resistor in place of a resistor we have used here a common gate mos across the source terminal of m1 mos now this is a cascode current sink configuration now if we see how the output resistance is increasing if we want to see how the output resistance is increasing then we have to analyze the equivalent circuits now if we draw the equivalent circuit then this part where vgg is will be connected to ground common gate vgc that should be also connected to ground now if we do that then this will be replaced connected to ground ground now this m1 transistor can be replaced with a dependent current source and that is gm1 for m1 gm1 vgs1 and the rds1 of transistor m1 rds1 and the dependent current source due to the body effect that is gmb vbs1 okay so gmb1 vbs1 this is your drain terminal of this d1 we find it then this is d1 so output will be take from here now from this this is the source terminal is connected to the drain terminal of m2 so this is connected to m2 now m2 can be replaced with the replaced with the equivalent circuit that equivalent circuit having a dependent current source gm2 pgs2 okay and a resistor that is rds2 okay and as the source terminal is directly connected to ground so no body effect will come across for m2 transistor so there is no gmb2 vbs term now this is connected to ground and here 
this is get one here another term is get two g two okay now if we see that gate of the m2 terminal is connected to ground and source of the m2 terminal is connected to ground so v g s 2 the v g s 2 equals to 0 as g2 is connected to ground and source is connected to ground so the v g s 2 is 0 so g m2 v g s 2 equals to 0 so this term will this branch will be open hmm? as no current will passes through that is open so if i simplify this drawing then instead of this we will get rds2 here so this will be open now if i draw the equivalent circuit of that then we will get now if we apply kcl in this circuit then this out current actually passes through this i out divided into three branches and passes through this three branch and then through this branch so i out we can write i out as equals to i out this is vx i out equals to vx by rds2 here i out current is passing through the rds2 branch so we can write vx by rds2 equals to gm1 vgs1 plus v out by minus vx by rds plus gmb1 vbx vbs1 mm. this i out current passes through this is the summation of this current plus this current plus this current so vx by rds equals to gm1 vgs1 plus v out minus vx that the potential difference between these two point v out minus vx by rds that is rds1 that is current that mass current is passing through rds1 plus gmb1 vbs1 that is written here this so gm1 vgs1 plus v out minus vx by rds1 plus gmb1 into vbs1 now i out vx equals to i out into rds2 by rds2 so rds2 rds2 will cancel out g vgs1 equals to minus vx vgs1 vgs1 the potential difference between gate and the source of the m1 transistor that's the potential drop across this rds2 that is minus vx hmm? so we can write here gm into minus vx plus v out minus vx by rds plus gm beyond minus vbx this vbs1 that's the potential difference across across vbs that's vbs1 that's the potential difference between this terminal that is vx so that we have written here minus vx vbs body and source one so it's reverse minus negative term will come so if we simplify this term after that we will get this i out equals to that and if we 
further simplify then we will get v out by rds equals to i out and now if we further simplify then we will get that and finally finally we will get this so output resistance r out equals to that part whether in this among these gm rds1 rds2 is the largest higher gm1 is gm1 is greater than gmb gm1 is greater than gmb1 and gm1 rds1 is very very greater than 1 so we can simplify further and can write r out equals to gm1 rds1 rds2